at any given moment, you can focus on one of two things. You can focus on what you see, or you can hold on to the knower. You can focus on what you see, or you can focus on the seer. You can be focused on what you know, or you can hold on to the knower. It's that simple of a shift. The implications are profound when practice is continued on a daily basis. The knower is changeless, is with you always, it is you, it is yourself. You will begin to feel, indeed, most like yourself. In all scenarios, holding on to the knower, you will feel most like yourself. And this deepens, this becomes blissful, this becomes liberating, this becomes transcending. Just by holding on to the knower, even if just for short moments at a time. Repeat it frequently. Become aware of the knower. The fact that you know, that sense of I, the knower, the seer, that which is. Know the knower. Know the knower. know the knower. And if you can't do this, or if you can't maintain this, you might have to go through a period of concentration exercises. It makes it much easier. What you could try is on every exhalation, focus all your attention on the knowing, the knower. And then when you inhale, you let your mind go free, do whatever it wants. And then again, back to that concentration on the knower. As you exhale, and as you maintain for a little bit the exhaled state. Focus all you have on the knower. Becoming aware of the fact that you exist, that pure space. And then as you breathe in, forget about it. And as you exhale. You can also do one whole breath of relaxation, even though actually in truth, the opposite is relaxation. Focusing on the knower is relaxation, but initially that might feel like a tension, it may feel like a concentration you need to maintain. So, and then gather your will, gather your will, your desire, and now focus on the knower. Become undistracted. See how long you can maintain awareness of the changeless. You, that which knows. <sighs> and then you relax, you forget about it. And then you breathe in and you gather your will, you gather your intensity, your desire. I want to know the knower. Undistracted, no interest in anything else. Know that you know. Know that you know. Know that you know. Know that you know. Maintain awareness. Maintain awareness of itself. <sighs> and relax. And after a while of doing that, you see that even when you relax, <sighs> you can't shake the knower. If you do this long enough, for most people I say, if you do this intensely for longer than 20 or 30 minutes, for the average person, you will be able to find that even when you relax and the mind goes, you can maintain 
spacious awareness of the knower. It's, then it becomes obvious that it's always already here and you can't put a dent in it. No thought ever disturbs awareness. It's the ground of being. It's the basic state. You can't live without. It's that which knows. So know the knower. Intensify knowing the knower for an entire slow exhalation. Focus only on the knower, that which knows. And you relax. And again, you breathe in, and you already begin to notice awareness. Give up attention on what you see, and instead focus on that you see. The seer, know the knower for that is you. Then intensify the clarity of knowing the knower. Concentrate on it. Find your own rhythm with this and do this intensely for the next five minutes. Gather all your intensity. Really want to find that transcendence. Really want to know yourself. Penetrate. You can either be aware of things or you can be aware of yourself. You can either amplify or focus on what you see, the things that appear, or you can focus on the seer behind them, beyond them, before them, you, the self. want to know the knower that you are. That which is already unaffected by any vortex of your life, any circumstance. that which is with you here now as that changeless space. Notice when you're noticing things and then remember you have a choice. You can either focus on things or focus on the self before that, within yourself, that awareness, that beingness.
Know the knower. And hold on to the knower. Concentrate on that. Know the knower. Know the knower. Know the knower. Be more interested in the knower of my words. That space which receives the words. That which knows it. More than you're interested in the words themselves. Know the knower of this moment. Know the knower of this moment. Shift attention back inwards towards the knower of this moment, this painting, this configuration. Ignore the painting. Know the painter, the knower. Until it becomes this private little space of sorts where suddenly you notice that the body nor the world can affect you there, that you are in a state of unaffected being, unaffected awareness, unaffected space. The idea, the sense of the body and the world cannot enter in the space of the knower knowing itself. That is transcendence. That is self-realization, or at least more of it. Want to know yourself. Yourself is nothing you see. What you see always changes. Do not attach to it. Know the knower behind these changes, before these changes, the being, the true self that you are. Know the knower. Pay attention to the knower, the seer, the innermost me from where you know, from where you see and perceive. Enter into that delicious space of the knower knowing itself, where for split seconds at a time, the perception of a body in a world, the identification, disappears, or can't enter the space of the seer seeing itself, the self knowing itself, the knower sensing itself. Continue to penetrate into this. higher and higher, farther and farther, purer and purer. Distill it, distill the knower from the known over and over again. Distill the self from the objects it projects over and over again. This is purification. This is surrendering mind to that great mysterious knower deep within, that creator deep within, from where everything appears. Whence all things are known. Knowing the knower is your lifeline back into source. Source is you, it's me. There's no distinction between me and source. Knowing the knower, 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 right now and right now. Know the knower of this sound. Know the knower of this sensation. Know the knower of this sound. Know the knower of this sensation. Know the knower of this sound. Know the knower. Know the knower. Know the knower. Know the knower now. Know the knower of now. Know the knower. See the seer. Be the being. Know the knower. Go within. Know the self. Recognize the self, not the objects. Ignore the world. Recognize the seer of the world. The knower of the world. The beer beyond the world. Let it take you higher and higher. Ignore all sensations. Know the knower of the sensations. Allow all sensations to be as they are, but do not focus on them. 
Remember again and again that you are the self. You're not what you see. You are the self which sees. You are not what you see. You are that from where you see. And your first quality is the capacity to know, to be, to see. Know the knower. Whatever the sensations and thoughts may be, let them be detached and know the knower of them right now. There's no obstacle to the knower, for the knower knows all obstacles. So you can always know the knower of the obstacles. Hence, the knower cannot be obstacles. It is ever here. Hold on to it. Concentrate on the knower, knowing the knower. And it will elevate you out of your self-created attachments and delusions to projections and ideas and concepts. Bliss is not to be attained in what you see. It is within the knower itself. It is to be tapped into. Dig up bliss by knowing the knower consistently. That is how you get to the wellspring of immortal life. The Holy Grail is to maintain awareness, direct knowledge of the knower itself, direct perception of the knower itself, the knowing, the sense of being the knower. This is the eye of the storm, the eye of the vortex. This is the you within the inner you. Even your inner workings cannot affect the knower of these inner workings. Your thoughts and emotions are also not the inner. They are still external. They are still circumstantial. They are part of the vortex that generates the landscape of your experience. Nothing wrong with them, but when identified with, you are deluded and you are in for a ride of suffering. To know the knower is freedom. To know the knower is bliss. To know the knower is peace. To know the knower is truth. To know the knower gives you access to all realities. Instinctively. Know the knower. It's beyond this universe. This universe appears onto the knower. You are that. You are the knower. Know this. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Know that you are the supreme knower within. Do not be distracted all the time by what you see. Consistently concentrate and repeat and remember to meditate on the knower that's here right now. It's even before you can begin to meditate. You already know that you're about to meditate. Know that. Know that space. Know the knower of your meditation. That is meditation. Meditation is to be aware of the fact that you're aware of the idea that you're meditating. That is meditation. Meditation is instant. As soon as you remember, you know. As soon as you remember yourself, there you are. Stay there for prolonged periods of concentrated time. Know the knower. Increase the clarity. Turn up the brightness. This is the self. This is you. This is from where your life has been manifested all this time. Enjoy that effortless sense of the wide open, already present, already in and beyond the heart, quality of clarity, that which knows, that which is, that which is aware. Enjoy that. Enjoy the lightness of it. Enjoy the transcendence that it brings. Enjoy the clarity. Enjoy the detachment that you experience, that joyful, loving attachment, detachment. Be attached only to your true self, which is what you are.
there's a constant stream of experience available for you to focus on. Or you can notice the space in which this stream arises and shift attention and emphasis away from what you see and on to the spacious seer through which the illusion flows effortlessly. Let be the illusion and bring attention and attachment to the knower instead. Detach from form and appearance and know the knower. That is resting in the heart of self. When that moment is pristine, you will find that there is no other experience that enters except the experience of knowing yourself. There is a moment of pure self-awareness where the body nor the world enters. So just continue to let be, allow to be as it is the sensation of the body and the thoughts of the world, but detach your focus from them and realize that if you know these things, you must be there to know them. Inquire and focus into that, that principle of I am, that true I am which knows, the I am that knows. The I am that knows the body sees that the body is not a thing, it's an experience. The I am is having an experience of the body. The body is not a thing that you have to deal with. It is an experience that is not you. It's just an expression of this vast, mysterious you that is accessible by knowing that you know, that you are, going into the e beingness, the knowingness. And you already are, you already know, just know that. Bring attention to that which is always already here. That about you which is always already aware of my voice before you even have the time to register what I'm saying. That which knows my voice. Become aware of that. The being within which knows. That wide open space-like isness of me, yourself. Go deeper into that. <coughs> know the knower of this moment. One must be curious at all times. Who knows this? Who knows this moment? What am I to be here to know this experience? Most of us are like painters, so identified with our painting. that we forget that we can walk away from the painting, that we are the painter, we are the creator, the self is the creator, awareness is the creator. What you see is not the creator, not directly. It is an appearance created by the creator. Yes, out of its own mystery, not separate from the creator, but when we know only the form and the description of our creation in this moment, our experience in this moment, we forget to recognize the true nature of this moment, which is you. That innermost sense of myself, of me, within you, that is the creator. That is the projector. That is whence all things appear to whom all things appear. Know the knower and you will know the self. The 
This is your only task in meditation. <laughs> 